Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel, or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this video in one go, so if I stumble over my words moving forwards, apologies about that, and also apologies if the quality of this video is not too great either, if there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it can't be helped, and hopefully it isn't much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision 2024 related video here on my channel, and the video that I am filming on a complete whim because earlier this evening, today being the 30th of January, we had the allocation draw for the upcoming edition of the ESC, which will take place in Malmö, Sweden for a third time. As always, you're welcome to let me know your thoughts about anything I discussed today by leaving a comment, and as always, there are links in the description to my other social media pages. Check them out if you so wish. I thought that I would chip in here and give you my thoughts on the allocation draw, which I didn't watch live because I was busy, but I have since caught up with it on YouTube, and I'm sure you've seen it as well. This means we do have the semi-final split now, and we also know which half of the semi-final each of the semi-finalists will be performing in. We also know that Germany, Sweden and the UK will vote in semi-final 1, with France, Italy and Spain voting in semi-final 2, and in both semi-finals there is that rest of the world vote as well, which nobody really gave much of a crap about last year, and this year I don't think many people will give a crap about it again, but it's sticking with us. Now, semi-final 1 on paper looks to be extremely tough, and it feels that way every year, before we have the full lineup, at least to me, maybe to you as well. Semi-final 1 is always stronger. It just always seems to be the way. I'm looking at the list in front of me now. It is stacked. And thinking about the songs that we could get through national finals. Yes, this is looking like a really difficult semi-final to get out of. Remember, it's a 100% public vote semi-final. I am looking at Lithuania. They can be sitting very happy with themselves right now. Because they know, or they should know, the UK will give Lithuania at least 10 points. Ireland will give Lithuania at least 10 points. Poland, the UK will probably give 8, 10, 12. Ireland, 8, 10, 12. Guaranteed in the bag. That's not going to be enough to qualify, obviously, but it gives them a good start. So I'm looking at Lithuania and I'm looking at Poland. And I'm thinking they're going to be going through. Before we've even got the songs for those nations... I'm thinking they're going through. From the first half, now if we think about this as logically as we can, usually half of the qualifiers come through the first half of the semi-final, half come through the second half of the semi-final, or it's like 5-6 or 6-5. Roughly that every year. So, looking at that first half, Croatia. If it's Baby Lasagna, I'm tempted to say, yes, they're going through. If it's Let 3, maybe. If it's anybody else, maybe not. Cyprus, Cilia Capsis, Liar, we're getting the song later this month, I believe. Could be a banger. Could be drumming up a lot of interest. Greece can't vote for them. That doesn't really matter. There's many other countries that can. And if it's a really cracking track, it's going through. Ireland... We'll get on to in a minute. Lithuania, as far as I'm concerned, going through. If it's Luktelk, going through. The Roop, apparently that song has been released early, or it's been leaked, of course. I've not heard it, but I've not heard great things. But even if it is the Roop, probably going to go through, I don't know. Poland, if it's the song that's been talked about on social media for weeks now, a lot of people are loving it. So I'm tempted to say yes. If it's another song, we wait and see. Serbia, I think they're going through. The strength of the national final. A lot of people are really enjoying what they're hearing. I think they're a safe bet to progress. And Ukraine only have to breathe and they've qualified. So Ireland, now that I'm getting back to them. Bambi Thug, great. Doomsday Blue, nice. I don't mind it. But I think it's in trouble. I really, really do. Can't believe I'm saying that. Some people might think that I've been smoking something funny, sitting here saying that Ireland are not a safe qualifier. They're really not a safe qualifier. Before we have the full lineup, I very much believe Ireland are in trouble. Because look at the other countries around them in that first half of the first semi-final alone. You know? There's no doubt about it. 
the Irish song will stand out so very much. It could be a car crash live at the ESC. Could be a car crash, or it could be a very impressive slick performance indeed. I don't think there's any middle ground myself. I was not terribly impressed with the performance at the Irish National Selection. Like I said, though, I don't mind the performer or indeed the song. But my god, it needs to be a lot tighter. I, I blame the Irish National Final because this song needed a much bigger stage and bigger production and everything. Which it will get in Malma, but it's in trouble. It's in trouble. It really is. We move on to the second half. Australia, I've seen a rumour today that it could be electric fields. I wouldn't be mad about that. Of course, there is also that rumour circulating that it could be Danny Minogue, it could be Danny Ian. We just have to wait and see. Um, Australia, I'm tempted to say, will go through. Azerbaijan, unless it's a very good song, I'm tempted to say they're out. Because, on paper, this looks like such a tough semi-final. And Azerbaijan didn't qualify last year. And if they're going to go in this direction of using homegrown songwriters, very much homegrown talent, that's great. But Azerbaijan aren't quite the force they once were, perhaps. Finland, I think, are going to go through without breaking much of a sweat. Iceland we'll get on to in a minute. Luxembourg, I think, are in trouble, even though the song is not bad. Moldova, I think, could slip through the net as well this year, even though the major contenders in their selection are perfectly fine. Portugal, yeah, I think they might just go through in a similar position to Mimi Cat last year in Liverpool. And then Slovenia, I'm tempted to say, are going through with that song, absolutely. So, going back to Iceland, yeah. If Iceland were in the second semi-final, out, 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 out. Although there's only one country less in semi-final one, I'm still tempted to say out, out, out. They were first in the odds, I think, briefly, earlier this week. What a load of cobs wallop that was. You're telling me somebody listened to those Icelandic songs and thought, yes, they're winning this year. I love Iceland. I love Iceland at Eurovision. But you're not just pulling my leg, you're pulling my whole damn body, if you think Iceland are winning this year. Bashar is there, I know. My god, that is not at all winning material. It's not national final winning material. That's not me having some sort of ulterior motive, something political going on. No, 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 no. The song ain't good enough. That's all it is, in my opinion. If it's him, fair enough. Not good enough to qualify. Most of the other songs in Song for Kepnin, I don't think are good enough to get through a Eurovision semi-final either. Maybe one or two elevated performance on the Eurovision stage. Maybe, maybe. Iceland are in trouble. Unless there is this sort of, honestly, protest vote. So I've written down on my piece of paper in front of me, this is a wild, possibly in completely inaccurate prediction. But why not have a bit of fun with this? Cyprus, Lithuania... Poland, Serbia, Ukraine, Australia, Finland, S Slovenia, nearly said Scotland then, Portugal and Croatia going through. Meaning Ireland miss out. Honestly, I can see it happening. I can't believe Ireland didn't qualify. My God, what more can they do? Well, it's tough. It's tough. And that's a really divisive track. How will neutral listeners react to it? I don't know. Azerbaijan out, unless it's a banger, unless it's something really impressive. Iceland out. Uh, Luxembourg, yes. That song, Fighter, is fine. But, oh man. Oh man. It also feels quite plain. Fine, but plain. And that ain't good enough at Eurovision, arguably. And in this semi-final, yeah, I think Luxembourg might be gone. And then Moldova. It's a very close call here. But I was looking at who I'd already put through. And I thought Croatia, baby lasagna, over anything Moldova might send. I think Croatia are more likely. So, there you go. A wild, possibly inaccurate prediction for semi-final one. Semi-final two on paper looks a lot 
well, not a lot weaker, but it looks a lot more open. First half on Thursday, the 9th of May. Albania, we've got the singer, we've got the song. I don't mind it. I think we're getting a revamp. Even so, not sure it's going through. Uh, Armenia, we don't really know what's happening there, do we? It'll be a good few weeks before we have anything at all. Uh, tempted to say they're going to go through, but that's based on a hunch more than anything else. Austria, I think the song has leaked, or some demo version is circulating online. I've not heard a thing. I'm waiting until the official release. Apparently, it's a very throwback type of entry. We wait and see. Czechia, I think, are in trouble. That live performance, Jesus wept. It has to be miles stronger than what we had in the national final just before Christmas. Miles stronger. Denmark, phew, who the hell? is talking about DMGP. Very few people. I like Denmark in Eurovision. I really do. They're in trouble again, though. Greece, going through. Malta, heavens above. If it's Matt Black, shouldn't be anywhere near the final. If it's Sirena, maybe, at a push. Uh, if it's Sarah Bonici, maybe, at a push. But no, if Malta go through, it won't be convincingly, in my opinion. Switzerland, uh, I don't think it's going to be a ballad this year. I think it will be a female soloist myself. We wait and see. Oh, yes, yes. Sorry, I'm just looking at my notes in front of me. Belgium. I don't really know what to expect there. Estonia, I think, will go through. Because it's likely to be Oli or Five Minus and Pulup. Either of those songs, and it's very likely to be one of them, could close this second semi-final. I'm calling it now. Georgia, they're doing really well in the odds at the moment. Don't know why. Somebody knows something. And we shouldn't really be looking at the odds much at all at this stage. Because, come on now, we barely know any of the songs. But Georgia, it's been years. And I think this could be the year they go through. Uh, Israel, personally, I think they will be booted out at some point. I really do. The pressure is too much now for the EBU. And surely conversations behind the scenes I think they're going to say look Israel goodbye I can see them saying that um, and then finally maybe people on social media will shut up about it uh, <laughs> um, yeah apparently we're getting the Israeli singer uh, this time next week apparently I don't know a thing what's going on there to be honest with you Latvia dons or bust I've said this previously again haven't qualified since the last contest in Sweden 100% public vote semi-final, even if it is Dons with that very fine effort indeed, could still be in trouble. Netherlands going through, that's just going to stand out a mile. Norway, give me strength if it's the AI song. It should be Ulverham. It should be Ulverham. And that would be a smashing song to close this semi-final as well. Uh, and Norway going through. And then San Marino out. Out! I sort of get a load of this. You've probably seen this as well. Something like, what is it? 100 and something semi-finalists? What the hell is that? Out. Out. Based on that alone. Out. <laughs> oh dear me, I sound very harsh today. So anyway, Greece, Switzerland, Estonia, Netherlands, Norway, Armenia, Austria, Belgium, Georgia and Latvia. Going through from this second semi-final, before we've heard all of the internal selections, and before we know who's won most of the semi, uh, semi final most of the national finals, which means Albania out. Although they have a habit of sneaking through, don't they? Every year it feels like. Uh, who else out? Out. out. Denmark out. Malta out. Um. Israel out, but that's purely because I think they'll be booted out. I'm telling you now, if Israel do compete and they have a great song, they're going through and they'll do quite well in the final. It's as simple as that. Uh, San Marino out. So there we go. A very messy video from me, but I'll just reiterate sort of what I said earlier. Semi-final one on paper looks to be the strongest of the two. It looks like it could be a bit of a bloodbath. I do feel sorry for Luxembourg a bit because I think once we have the full lineup, that entry, Fighter, Vitali, I think is just going to be brushed aside a little bit. I really do. 
I really do. Promising signs from the national final performance, but will it be enough elevated on the Eurovision stage? I don't know. I feel sorry for Ireland. Honestly, I might be the only person who thinks this, but I think Ireland are in trouble already. Um, and I'd also keep a very close eye on Moldova in that first semi-final. In the second semi-final, uh, all eyes on Latvia and Georgia for me because their qualification record is atrocious over the past few years. And I think Norway, Estonia, they can be quite content with the songs that they'll probably... Uh, the songs that are in contention for them and the song that they'll probably end up sending to Eurovision. I think they're going to do perfectly fine. Greece, I've got very high hopes for that song. I'm looking forward to it. Malta, big trouble. Denmark, big trouble. Anyway, I've had enough. Let me know your thoughts on this allocation draw. A very messy video from me, one that I wasn't going to film. I'm currently in the process of sorting out an Instagram post. And I'll be back later this week, all being well. I don't know when. Thursday, maybe? I'm not even sure what day it's going to be. But we are getting snippets of the songs in the first heat of Sweden's Melfest. So, as has been the case for at least four or five years now... I'll be reacting to those snippets on camera. Until then, or before then, if there's any other major news, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and let me know what you think about this draw. Bye for now.